the excellent wife. That's what we're talking about this week here on Rider Rays. We're looking at Proverbs 31, 10 through 24. Now, King Lemuel's mom was a woman of wisdom. She followed the Lord's command and imparted that wisdom to her son. Lemuel, in turn, wrote down what she said, and that was gathered into our book of Proverbs and inscripturated forever. She taught her son about the proper usage of alcohol and what is becoming of a king. She taught him to be a man who seeks justice and good for those who are poor and needy. He was to be the voice of those who did not have a voice. The world seeks these things by name, but they have a distorted definition of what justice, judging, rights, you know, poor, needy, mute, destitute, they have all those distorted because they have exchanged the truth about God and his word for lies. Now, King Lemuel's mother also warned him about his relationships. He was not to give his strength to women or his ways to those who destroy kings. How many godly men in the Bible, even those in the great hall of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, fell into the snare of the devil in this way with women? Even the wisest of men, the great Solomon, gave his strength to many women who turned his heart to worshiping false gods. The warning is one that we should not ignore or take lightly. We have been commanded and warned, let us be obedient. Now, there's been some debate over the years as to the placement of 10 through 31 here at the end of the book. Is this section from King Lemuel or not? We don't know for certain, but it does make sense in the context. Lemuel told us about women who would destroy. It only makes sense that he would tell us about a woman who builds up. There is a woman of folly and a woman who is excellent, virtuous, and wise. Now, this section is an acrostic poem. Each line begins with a letter from the Hebrew alphabet. This is the ABCs for a boy to learn what to seek in a wife and a girl to strive to become. And so that's what we're looking at this week in Proverbs 31. We're going to be looking at verses 10 through 24. And then next week we'll be looking at the rest of chapter 31. But today and the rest of this week, we're going to go through 10 through 24. So let me read that before we close out for today. An excellent wife who can find, she is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life, and she seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She rises while it's yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. She considers a field and buys it. With the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. She dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She perce perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She puts her hand to the distaff, and her hands hold the spindle. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She's not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She makes bed coverings for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them, and she delivers sashes to the merchant. All right, so that's what we're going to be looking at this week. Come back tomorrow, and we'll continue on with our study. Thank you.